What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. And the season is over. It was great. It was uh, super entertaining. Doesn't matter if you're a Red Sox fan or you're a Dodgers fan. We got through 60 games. I didn't think it was going to happen. Not without all the COVID outbreaks. The MLB, uh, they do a lot of things good. They do a lot of things bad. Um, they definitely don't mark it, but they got through this season, even with some COVID outbreaks. So, got a hand to them. And the 16 playoffs uh, seeding, 16 team playoff seeding is okay. I mean, some teams probably shouldn't be in there. The Astros and the Brewers had a losing record, and they're in the playoffs. Not great, but it's great for my favorite team, the Blue Jays, who were an eight seed in the middle of the playoffs, and they wouldn't have done that in a normal season. Sure, it's great for Cardinals and Brewers, who got in on the last day of the season. And it made for some really interesting baseball um, on Sunday. So I'm going to go through like the matchups right now and some interesting pitching matchups, some interesting just straight team matchups, and uh, let's get into it. We'll start off in the AL wildcard series, and these are best two out of three, which means pitching is massive because if you have one starter that can uh, steal a game or even two starters that can steal a game, that will be, uh, be very important. So starting with the AL, uh, the number one seed, Tampa Bay Rays, play the number 8 seed Toronto Blue Jays. Tampa Bay went 40 and 20 and the Blue Jays went 32 and 28. Uh the Blue Jays have our chance to maybe um upset. I don't know, the Rays play really good uh baseball and they have a great three-man pitching staff. The Blue Jays really only have one guy Ryu. That series I don't know. It's hopefully it's probably just going to go two games maybe maybe three if we get lucky. Um the number 2 seed Oakland A's will play the number 7 seed Chicago White Sox. Uh, Oakland went 36 and 24, and Chicago went 35 and 25. It's a one-game difference between these teams. And Chicago went from the seventh seed; they could have won the division and, and been uh, the third or second seed. I don't know. There's so much stuff that could have happened on Sunday. Um, instead, they're the seventh seed, and they have to play two seed. Tough. This one's gonna be a really good matchup. Neither team has amazing pitching. Uh, the A's have Lazardo, Bassett, and either Manaya or Fires. And then the White Sox have Keuchel, uh, well, sorry, Giolito first, Keuchel, uh, and then Cease or Crochet, maybe. Crochet's been um, insane. I'm showing a clip right now of this guy. He throws 101, and he got drafted this year. He is absolutely insane. That is unheard of of a player uh, coming into the league the year they were drafted. Um, going to the second last AL wildcard matchup, it's number three Minnesota Twins versus number six Houston Astros. Minnesota went 36 and 24. Houston went 29 and 31. Houston, this is a completely, completely different Houston team than normal. Um, they don't have Verlander. They don't have Cole from last year. Their main guy, Springer, Correa, Altuve, they did not have great years. Bregman had an all right year. Uh, Minnesota, just like that, they were one game ahead of the White Sox. I mean, that could have gone either way. I'm. They won today, and they won the division. Or I'm not sure they won, but the White Sox lost. So they won the division. Good for them. Back-to-back -back years. Um, they're, they're definitely a team that can go deep. I wouldn't bet on them going to the, the... It's the ALCS, right, or the World Series, yeah. And then the last matchup is the number four seed, Cleveland Indians, who are 35-25, and 25, so same record as the White Sox. But they get the... They had better intra-squad... If they beat the White Sox more times, so they got the they got the the matchup of the four seed, not the seven seed. They're gonna play the number five seed, New York Yankees. That's a scary matchup to go up against, and I mean, what a pitching matchup that can, that's gonna be. Garrett Cole versus Shane Bieber in game one. That's honestly gonna be much must watch TV. Although I don't really like any of the teams, I will probably tune in for that game just for the pitching. Uh, most of these games will start on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we don't have start times yet. If you're interested. And watching, which you definitely should. I mean, the MLB, if you're new to baseball and you're just kind of learning about the playoffs this year, hey, man, watch baseball. This playoffs is going to be fun. Going to the NL. The number one seed, Los Angeles Dodgers, went 43-17. and By far the best record. Three wins better than the Tampa Bay Rays. And they're going to take on the number eight seed, Milwaukee Brewers, who are 29-31. and And I don't see much about from the Brewers, despite their bullpen of Devin Williams and Josh Hader. Uh, I'm not a big Brewers guy this year. I'd rather the number two seed Atlanta Braves play them. Atlanta Braves are my second favorite team, but they have to go up against the number seven seed Cincinnati Reds. Atlanta went 35 and 25. Cincinnati went 30 and 29. Cincinnati is probably out of like a, a five, six, seven, eight seed, the last team you want to face. They have three absolute studs. 
that, I mean, Trevor Bauer, Cy Young, Sonny Gray got off really hot, uh, had still had a pretty good year, and then Luis Castillo picked it up a bit down the stretch. He's been good. I mean, you have to face, the series can only go three games, so you have to face all three of those pitchers, and you have to beat them twice. That's really tough. If there's one lineup that can do it, it is the Braves. They have one of the best off. They have a top two, three, uh, or best offense in baseball, for sure. Um, I mean, and the Reds' offense is still pretty good. Of Suarez, Castellanos, Moustakis, all those. Those guys didn't have great years. Um, going to the second last matchup, it is the Chicago Cubs, who won their division with 34 wins, 26 losses, facing the number six seed Miami Marlins. Uh, <laughs> that seems weird, but the Miami Marlins are in the playoffs here. But yeah, they are, and they had a they had a good year, man. Picked up Starling Marte at the deadline. He was pretty good for them. The Cubs, uh, despite their, I guess you, yeah, he's probably their best player before this year. Uh, uh, Javi Baez having the worst year of his career since his when he, since when he first came to the league. They won the division, and they're taking on this Miami Marlins. It's an okay uh, matchup. I actually, I want to double back now because. That's not really a great pitching matchup, but the other pitching matchup, Reds, uh, Braves, is going to be really good. Max Fried versus Trevor Bauer, two guys that could could have won a Cy Young this year. Um, so that's going to be good. And then probably the most exciting matchup, actually I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say this is the most exciting matchup already because there's some really good ones. But it's Padres, Cardinals, both teams. Pretty exciting, especially the Padres. Uh, 37 wins to the Padres, 30 wins for the Cardinals. I really want to see the Padres and the Dodgers win. That way we get Padres versus Dodgers in the second round. That would be amazing. And then, yeah, so that that's the matchups right now. I know some cool stats from this season. DJ LeMayu batted 364. And if you're going to bat 364, you're going to win the batting title. Sorry, Tim Anderson. Becoming the first player since 1900 to lead the American League and the National League in batting average. That's a crazy big stat. Uh, I'm just kind of getting the notifications in right now, Sunday night of who led the league in what stats, so we're going to go over those real quick. All right, your NL pitching leader in wins is you Darvish with eight. Your NL ERA leader, the man Trevor Bauer with a 1.73, and Josh Hader led the league, uh, well, led the NL in saves. He did not lead the league in saves. Brad Hand led the league in saves. I did not know that. That's the first time I'm reading that. And then this was super crazy. Marcel Ozuna on the last day of the season almost won the Triple Crown. Absolutely insane. He finished 10 batting points back of Juan Soto. Juan Soto batted 351 and came home with the batting average and OPS crown. Uh, Marcelo Zuna hit 18 homers and had 56 RBIs in 60 games, winning those two. If he batted 11 points higher, he would have had the Triple Crown. Would have been wild. Uh, Trey, Trey Turner led the NL in hits with 78. Um, oh yeah, he just passed Jose Abreu. Abreu had 76 hits. Leading the National League in stolen bases was Trevor Story with 15. He does it all at shortstop. Going to the AL pitching leaders, Shane Bieber led the league in wins, ERA, and strikeouts. Eight wins, 163 ERA, 122 Ks. Kenta Maeda led the league in whip with a 0 0.75. That's really good. And Lance Lynn, of course, led the league in innings pitched. He's old school. Like I, and then I said, Brad Hand led the league in saves. Uh, the AL batting leaders, uh, like I said, DJ LeMayu led the league in batting average. He also led the league in OPS with a 1.011 OPS. Luke Voigt led the league in homers, 22. Jose Abreu led the league in RBIs with 60 in 60 games. Wild. He also led the league. He also led the AL in hits with 76. And Alberto Mondesi uh, led the league. Led the league. Sorry, yeah, in 20 with 24 stolen bases. Those are the league leaders. Really good season. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's just starting now. The postseason is a completely different breed. We have these wild best two out of three uh, wild card series with the 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6, 4, 5. That's going to be really good. And then we're going to get to the traditional uh, division series, championship series, world series. Uh, really sucks there's no fans. We might, when they go to the bubble for the DS and the CS, we might get fans. Rob Manfred possibly talked about that. There are family members in the NBA bubble. Um, there's no fans in the NHL bubble. In the NFL, some uh, some stadiums are lying fans. It's not a good idea. There's still COVID going around. So yeah, that's kind of the video. This might be a little bit longer, but the season wraps. So I wanted to go over it. I just kind of slightly went through 60 games in like 10 minutes, but this can't even 
uh, talk about 60 games. I've been taking this channel throughout the season. This is my first season doing this. So, and I've gained 40 subscribers at the season. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. If you enjoyed the video, uh, new, new videos coming soon, and I'm out. Peace.